Ooh. Video idea. First person on the list is Vader. How could I not see that? Okay, this is a quick reminder. This is entirely my opinion and Warrior Clover's opinion. We did not take a poll, and also how it's going to be ranked is it's going to be the best, the seven best villains for to play in HVB. We're going to start off with the first being the, the worst out of the best, and then number one. Uh, which is Vader, as you saw earlier in the video, is the best one to play. So yeah, that's how it's going to be ranked. Seven is the worst out of the best, and then we're gonna go all the way to the top. If you're good with someone else, just play that person. Don't take this as opinion. Like, but this is fact. this is just for noobs. Uh, okay, seventh place goes to Bosk. So Bosk is probably the worst out of the best villains for HVV. And the reason behind that is um, he's good. Um, he's pretty good for kind of like being so bad, but uh, he relies on his powers and his gun is terrible. From going to Battlefront 1, you see him absolutely destroying everyone. And then you go to this, his gun is terrible against other heroes. He shoots like once every five seconds. And again, he does rely on his uh, power-ups, power -ups, yeah, abilities. or whatever you want to call them, aka the, the, the stuff down in the right corner, right bottom corner. That, he relies heavily on that stuff to play the game, and it takes forever to recharge, so Bosk is vulnerable when you see all of those on red. Bosk really can't do anything. But Bosk is one of the best heroes you can be if you are a really, really smart, like, tactician, per se. Like, you can lure people into a trap easily and kind of, like, jump over them and shoot, jump over them and shoot if you have that endless patience that few players do not have. And what, what also you're looking for if you want to play Bosk, you're looking for the ability to understand your opponent's moves and try to avoid them. And you don't want to char charge straight into battle. I know it's ironic that I'm saying this as I'm charging into battle on the gameplay, but really you do not want to charge into battle with Bosk unless you are experienced. And the one benefit that Bosk does have over everyone in this game mode is his health never goes down upon damage. The overall health recharge never goes down. So yeah, that was number seven. Okay, so number six spot goes to Maul. Maul is very agilic and light and you have to kind of be, you have to be light on your feet playing Maul. He's not a, a blunt, he's quick strikes. So, and his moves are really good, like the saber throw, and um, where he jumps forward, I forgot what that's called, and the choke can throw anyone off a map if you're playing a map with a lot of places where you can fall and die. The problem with Maul, though, is his health drains really fast, and he can't take too many hits, because, again, he is light and agilic. So, yeah, that's probably why Maul takes the number six, is just purely because of his health drain, and he can't block for for a very long time. So, yeah, that's why Maul takes number six. All right, number five is Dooku. So, Warrior Clover's the Dooku expert, so I'll let him take over. All right, so, uh, Dooku. Dooku's a very weird person to play for, say, a Battlefront noob, but he's also good. If you don't know how to really defend against the heavy, blunt lightsaber heroes, Dooku's good against that if uh, you have the right star cards. Um, but you can also uh, defeat Anakin very quickly with Dooku without the proper star cards. Dooku's kind of a mix of light and agilic, but he, his attacks do so much damage, and if you can figure out a deadly combo with him, Dooku's really a good person to play for Battlefront uh, HVV. 
but not against no uh, clones or anything. So um, like I said, Dooku's Dooku can basically defeat anyone. You just kind of have to be agilic, but blunt at the same time. Blunt when you're attacking, but agilic when you're moving around. He takes way uh, he his strikes one disadvantage to Dooku though is his strikes are very heavy like Warrior Clover said it, they take a long time and drain a lot of stamina so that's the only problem I see with Dooku he can't take multiple people but otherwise Dooku is an absolute killing machine and those are the reason that's the reason why he takes number five and he also makes very weird sound effects like oh when he when he gets hit so that's kind of weird number four goes to Kylo Ren you know the 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 weird kid who wants to be like his grandfather and he's just he's just depressed and stuff and yeah, the pissy little dork adam driver takes the cake for number four can you believe it yeah you're probably like how is kylo ren better than dooku well we're gonna explain so first off kylo ren's abilities are very very good like the frenzy is basically unstoppable when you freeze someone pull them or Pull them, freeze them, and frenzy. That's the one of the deadliest combos in the game. And um, his lightsaber attacks are really strong and really fast, so he's kind of like the opposite of Dooku's attacks. Really strong, really fast, and don't drain a lot of stamina. And one other uh, benefit about Kylo Ren is, unfortunately, he doesn't have too much health. He has, he has a good, solid amount. But he doesn't have too much for a lightsaber hero. Uh, it kind of drains fast. But again, his frenzy makes up for it. And his freeze. It, all his defenses make up for that stuff. Again, he is the first one on the list that can actually defend himself. Because Dooku would be able to defend himself good when it, uh, when it comes to blocking and stuff. But again, his stamina drains way too fast. But Kylo Ren, just the defense is there. Yeah. And, uh, much like Dooku, he makes really weird noises. Like, this is one of my, <laughs> this is my few experiences playing with Kylo Ren. I just n was playing, and then I did Frenzy, and I went like, ah! <laughs> after the Frenzy. And he did a couple of weird noises after, and, um, his voice lines are very weird. Like, I will shoot you the part from the dark side. Yeah. When he's terrible <laughs> in the movies. But yeah. he, he's, he makes up for his movie role in this. Yeah. He's way, not overpowered, but powerful. Yeah, so that's why he takes number four. And uh, just the only disadvantage I'd say about Kylo Ren is probably um, his, his inability to take multiple people at one time. Because yeah. he, he just can't. But his dodge is great. He can gang much distance by jumping and then striking in the air. He gangs a lot of distance. His dodge is just... You can get out of there like that in, of danger. You can get out of the way of danger really quick. But again, there are those few flaws that bump him down before. But you can also be like Bosk with him. You can like be really slippery and lead them into a trap because of his moves again. But... That's kind of all that sums up and makes Kylo Ren the fourth player out of the best players. Okay, for number three, Emps takes the cake. Or the biscuit, as they say in England, because he's obviously from England. So the reason why Emps is number three is because his insane ability to dodge everyone and everything in his path, burn it all down. The disadvantage to the Emperor, though, is he can't get a kill. And he can't block. To save his life, he can't get a kill. But what he does, the Emperor's strategy is how you can just dominate the game, is you can sit there with your lightning and gang so much points and just keep dodging, and eventually you'll either kill them or most likely someone will come steal the kill. And plus, when someone's blocking, the lightning goes right through right through the, the lightsaber like some of it is absorbed but it just goes right through i don't understand that 
Yeah, so he you just keep dodging and you can shock people uh, until someone steals your kill or you actually make a kill, which would be pretty rare. But he just gangs so many points and the uh, probably his disadvantage is um, again, he, he relies uh, yeah, he, he relies on other players to help him kill people and get the um, get the targets from very far away because his shot can go pretty far, but when it comes to, I don't know, Leia pounding him with the E11, he can't really do anything. But Ems is a weird person. Like, compared to Yoda, he's, he's terrible. He's the worst player in the game compared to Yoda. And then to um, Princess Leia... Uh, he can go through a shield and her, uh, not her E11, so it's weird. But that's it. Okay, for number two, Boba Fett takes the cake. Now, this is a bit controversial, but we are going to explain why Boba Fett takes the cake. So, Boba Fett, again, kind of relies on other players, but also can go independent and solo. He is overpowered against... Uh, blaster heroes like Han Solo, Lando, Finn, Leia. Sure, they might be able to shoot him when he's in his jetpack, but it, he'll just freeze their guns with his concussion rocket. And the one good thing about Boba Fett is he only really relies on one power, and that's the radar, and because it gives you a full jetpack, it recharges your powers for some star cards. Some star card will allow you to recharge your powers faster, but since dice de uh, debuffed or nerfed his his powers so much he doesn't rely on them rather he relies on his ass tearing gun some people say it's pretty bad but i say his gun is amazing and it just it tears through enemies the thing is when he's in the air um, he's a deadly menace to lightsaber here is because if you're good with it uh, if you have a good trigger finger you can pinpoint them when they're in the air and just annihilate them because I think the gun's good as well. But he's kind of terrible against Luke. But um, it's not the character; it's that Luke can chop you in midair, and then you, your flight pattern gets screwed up, and then your whole plan is kind of uh, messy. But Boba Fett can basically annihilate anything with his wrist rockets; just tear through them. His concussion grenade is—it's okay. It's not the best. Like, you kind of have to know how to use it. And um, his jetpack is a good amount of fuel, I think. Yeah, so, again, you have to equip the right star cards to play with Boba Fett. But all in all, he's a really good hero, and or villain, and he takes the spot for number two. And this is why. You all knew it was coming. Big boy Vader takes number one. Especially because yeah, this is the beginning of the video. But, well, you all knew it was coming. Vader is number one, obviously. There are videos on YouTube that get thousands of views about Vader needing to be nerfed. Yeah, Vader, the overpowered, the overpowered god in Battlefront to some, father to others. Yeah, to Luke Skywalker. And Leia. Uh, yeah, and Leia, so... But he is just overpowered. His lightsaber throw does two times the damage now. One of the last updates, I believe, they made his lightsaber retrack its course and hit another enemy. When you throw it, it'll hit him. At first, it'll do damage, but it'll come back and hit him again. Which I think is good, because the Dark Lord of the Sith needs to be powerful. His health is just unbelievably overpowered. He has, like, 900 health to start out with, and his health allows him to get, like, a 1,000 health, his extra heal. And his choke just holds people there. It's not the best move. I wouldn't say it was... It definitely, it's not the best move. It's it gets people... It gets people off the ledge to just kind of go slow, but it allows them to stay in the air and vulnerable uh while you chop through them it's like a frenzy that does damage while you do damage with your lightsaber there's also certain moves with vader like choking and jumping and then throwing your lightsaber and then they're falling down you can hit them as well there's like so many combos to vader and he's a tank in all ways and his light and his lightsaber is just so much damage per hit so vader's just 
usable for anyone. He takes so little damage from lightsaber swings as well. He's so hard to kill. I think the only person who can kill him with ease... No, no, not even with ease. Not even with ease. I'm not even going to say with ease. With some difficulty, but with an okay amount of work, the one who can make work with him is either Leia or Anakin. And those two will even have a hard time with him. Leia can tear through him with, his e, with her E11. But Vader, again, can just block it. And he has so much stamina. It's insane. So, Vader definitely takes number one. And anything you want to add, Warrior Clover? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, Vader deserves number one. I guess the only disadvantage that he has is he's slow and a target for blasters. But again, I mean, come on. Everything else makes up for that. That's why he takes number one. He easily can beat anyone in a fight, in a battle. So, yeah, Vader would definitely take number one. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I recommend using this list if you want to get ba good at Battlefront. And if you're a noob, I recommend going by this list. So, yeah, I might make the hero version. I don't know. This video required a, a lot of effort to make. So, yeah, I appreciate it if you leave a comment, but you don't have to. I appreciate a subscription, but you don't have to. Again. So, yeah, I will see you later. Bye-bye. Get the marker. <laughs> Our budget's very low. <laughs> we forgot the only red marker we have. It's time to write the list.